Hi everyone, this is Srinivas from Automation Technical Learning. In this video, we are going to learn what is Virtual Private Cloud or what is VPC and how we can create uh, virtual instances inside it. Okay, so let's get going. First of all, let's understand what is public cloud and what is private cloud. So public cloud is something that is available over the uh, cloud can be accessed by anyone. One will be able to public cloud. So in analogy, uh, we can take the example of a restaurant. So anyone goes to the restaurant, will be able to order food, and the food will be given to them from the kitchen. So. Uh, so kitchen is like a public cloud from where the food is given wherever you sit. So for every person, uh, the food that comes is a different one uh, depending on what they've requested, but it is coming from the public cloud. So similarly, uh, for the public cloud, um, depending on uh, customer requirements, they can access that public space, which is available, and they can uh, use it. Now, coming to the private cloud, Private cloud is something that is private to the organization, which uh, can be used only by the organization. So only the organization employees could access the private cloud. That is private. Now let's try to understand what is virtual private cloud. So virtual private cloud is the cloud that is uh, available inside the public. So it's a private cloud which is inside the public. So in the virtual private cloud, what exactly happens is, unlike the public cloud, so a virtual uh, private cloud or VPC, it mainly uh, requires VPN through which uh, VPC customers can connect. So VPN is virtual private network. So basically it uses encryption to create a private network over the top of public network. Okay, so uh, so they use VPN to connect, and uh, the virtual private cloud will have dedicated virtual LAN, and also will have dedicated subnets. So virtual LAN is basically it's a uh, virtual local area network or group of computing devices that are all connected without the internet. So uh, so that uh, will will take care of the uh, of the uh, private part, uh, private uh, network, and also uh, the basically the uh, subnet is mainly a group of uh, uh, or range of IP addresses within a network. So that is uh, that is a subnet. So uh, in the case of VPC, uh, it's going to be a range of IP addresses which are private in nature. So so those uh, will be dedicated to the VPC customers. So that's how. Uh, VPC uh, or by virtual private cloud uh, will only allow uh, the VPC customers to connect and uh, public uh, cloud customers cannot connect to uh, the virtual private cloud uh, directly. Okay, so now let's try to uh, see the demonstration of this. Uh, I think uh, before we go to that, uh, now uh, you might have uh, got some idea about the usage or the advantages of VPC. Basically, a VPC gives a private cloud, so any organization can use the public space for their work within the VPC, uh, virtual private cloud. And basically, it gives scalability, so they can have many uh, clouds created for their own purposes. And it also gives the uh, environment. So uh, it requires, it gives a better performance compared to the on-premises uh, uh, network, uh, on-premises cloud, so it provides a better performance and also it provides better security. Okay, so uh, now let's see the demonstration. So as part of this, I'm going to show you with, res with respect to the IBM cloud. So in the IBM cloud, uh, so if you want to register to IBM cloud, basically you need to sign, sign up uh, by using create account and uh, it will ask you to fill in the details related to uh, your email address your personal information and then you can sign up so when you sign up you will get the 
uh, light uh, account. So that light plan will only have uh, 40 plus services. So if you provide the uh, credit card on top of that with the pay as you go model, so then you will get $200 credit for 30 days. So that's going to uh, give you access to all the products and services which are available in the uh, IBM Cloud space. So uh, for this demo, I have a uh, uh, I have an account uh, for which I have uh, selected the Pay As You Go model with the two hundred dollar credit. Okay, so this is how the uh, dashboard of IBM Cloud looks like. So uh, and uh, here, uh, if I can show you with respect to the creation, so you can say create resources. You'll be able to create various resources. And also, if I say plus, I'll be able to see the group of uh, resources which I want to create. For example, I can say Kubernetes or uh, API management, development, DevOps, and so on. Okay, so now let's see how we can create a VPC. Uh, uh, how we can create a virtual machine uh, in a VPC. Okay, so uh, for that purpose, we are going to use uh, the option here uh, called as. Uh, Classic. Uh, yeah, one moment. So we are going to come to the VPC infrastructure, and in that you will see the option of uh, compute. So you can see here you can have dedicated host, SSH keys, custom images, virtual server instances. So we are going to create this virtual server instance. And in this, I can say uh, create. So there is already one server which I've created before. So I'm going to say create. And so this is going to be a virtual server for VPC. And I can give the name. I'll call it as uh, okay. So this is the name of my uh, VM. And uh, I will keep the default resource group. And I will select the location as London. And it's going to be multi tenant cloud. Okay, so I can even have the dedicated cloud, which is single tenant. So I'm going to have the multi tenant. And I can have the image. So I'm going to select Centauri. So this is going to have uh, the two GPUs and eight gigabit RAM for GPS bandwidth. If I want to change, I can change from here. And uh, I can scroll down. And I need to provide the SSH key here. Okay, so uh, yeah, so before we provide the SSH key, so if you see here, so it's going to cost uh, 0.103 per hour for this particular instance. If I go for it, so I'll create a uh, new uh, and I'll give the name to the key matching the name of my VM, and I'll have to provide the public key. So uh, just to create the key. I'm going to use the command terminal and I'll say SSH minus. It's going to create a uh, public and private key for me. So I'll give the name here. So I'll call it as Linux PM and I will not have any passphrase. So it has created the uh, VM. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it has created the uh, VM key which I want to use. So by going to this particular directory, uh, I should be able to. Get the so I can just edit and I can copy this and I can provide this here. So this is how we can have the SSH key added, and then I can say create virtual machine, uh, virtual server instance. That's it. So when we do this, so as we have discussed in the uh, in the slide that whenever you create a VPC, so it will have the scan and submit submits uh, associated to the network, uh, and inside that, inside the VPC, it's going to have the virtual machine created. So now, uh, once this is created, once we see the status, uh, we should see uh, associated. Uh, yeah, it's up and running now. Now, if I go to the resource group. Let me go to the resource group. You want resources list. And uh, it's showing the 
showing the game. And if you see here, it has the boot, uh, two boot lock storage uh, that is shown. And also it has the related the virtual private cloud, which is created. So, so it has taken care of that. And inside that it has the respective uh, subnets associated to it. Okay, so now um, since this is up and running, so I'll go to the VM which I've created. And now first thing what I require is if I want to access this particular uh, VM, I need to have the uh, public uh, or external IP address associated so that I can access that from external world. So uh, however, there is a private IP already existing. Uh, so I'm going to say edit on this and I will uh, define the reserve a uh, new floating IP address for this and I can say save and also uh, if I want I can change the inbound and outbound rules like inbound rules is basically to uh, say uh, what all I want to control with respect to the incoming traffic and uh, uh, what all things I want to control with respect to the outgoing traffic. Okay, so as of now, uh, so it is having uh, any source uh, that is 0, .0, 0 0.0.0 slash 0, that is any IP address or any source can uh, uh, it uh, can uh, access the 22 port for the incoming uh, for the incoming traffic, and similarly for the outgoing traffic, it can have any destination. Okay, so. Uh, so if I want, I can change these rules as well. So as of now, I'll retain it. So now I'm just coming back to this screen and I have the reserve, a new floating IP address, and I'm going to say click save. So it's going to update the network interface and it will have the IP assigned to this particular virtual machine. So the moment I refresh, I can see that I have got the IP address assigned. I can copy this IP address and uh, I can also confirm that from the uh, resources list, I could see that these things are listed here. So I can see that the associated the default uh, VPC that is created uh, for the virtual machine uh, when I have created by default. And when I open that particular virtual uh, virtual private cloud detail, so it is showing respective subnets and other information. Okay, so now let me uh, try to connect to that particular uh, IP address as we have given the public IP address, so I'll say ping and I'll say this particular IP address. So it's connecting because we have made it uh, now external. So now uh, what I can try to do is, uh, I can try to connect to the uh, CentOS uh, VM, which I have created. So I can use SSH and I can basically see minus A, I, and I can provide the path of the, uh, I can basically provide the path of the uh, file, which is uh, uh, it. So that is this path. So and slash, it's going to be VM, right? So that's the uh, name we have given. And now uh, I can say space. Uh, I can say root at the rate and the IP address which I want to connect. So root is a user by default. Uh, who can uh, be logged into once uh, again? There is a space I need to provide after SSH. Enter. So if I say yes to this, connect the VM. So it has connected to the VM. And now next thing, what I can do is I can um, I can have uh, the CentOS command related run to just to confirm whether it is CentOS. I say host name and I say CTL. So if you see this, it's showing that this is sent to a planet. So, uh, so that's all. So we have seen how to create a VM uh, in in a VPC. So, uh, so that is how we have achieved using IBM Cloud. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe uh, to my videos. And uh, if you have any comments, please write down below.